pecking is a normal reflex that babies and young children do as they learn to chew and swallow new foods. Choking is when something has blocked their windpipe or airway. Gagging is loud. Your child may look red when they gag, although this can be harder to spot depending on your child's skin colour. You may also notice that your child has watery eyes, pushes their tongue forwards, brings food to the front of their mouth and retches or vomits. Gagging happens more as children start to have solid foods, move on to different textures or harder foods. Choking happens when something has blocked your child's airway. Choking is more quiet. If your child is choking, they may turn blue in colour. For children with black or brown skin, you may notice that their gums, lips or fingernails look blue. This is because your child will be having difficulty breathing. If choking happens, you should start first aid immediately and contact the emergency services. You can reduce the risk of your child choking by giving foods that they are ready to manage. This depends on their age and stage of development. For example, if your child is not yet sitting upright, they will find it difficult to manage foods that need chewing. You can find lots of helpful information about choking on the NHS Start for Life website, the Child Accident Prevention Trust website, and there is also an app on baby and child first aid from the British Red Cross. If your child is choking on foods, speak to your health visitor or GP to talk about next steps. Don't offer foods that you're worried about your child managing until you've spoken to a professional. All children will gag at points of their weaning journey, from first taste to progressing through the textures. This is because they are having to learn new ways of using their tongue, jaw and lips. We are also giving them new sensory challenges with food. They are learning about new textures, tastes and smells. Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh. Oh, crikey. <laughs> there are things you can do to help your child with their weaning. Make sure your child is sat upright in appropriate seating. This helps support their body and make mouth movements for them easier. A tray also helps your child to sit as well as explore the food. Respond to your child's communication if they turn away or show they've had enough. Sometimes a gag can be their way of saying, that's enough. Keep changes small. It can be helpful to keep flavours of food separate when you introduce new foods. When trying a new texture, it helps if you can try a flavour your child knows already. Also, try offering a small amount of a new texture first rather than the whole meal. Let your child take their time to accept the spoon and move food around in their mouth. Let your child reach and play with the food or hold the spoon with you. This helps them to learn about foods, involves them in their mealtime and keeps it fun. Talk to your child at mealtimes, tell them about the foods they are having and make positive sounds. Nice. Oh. Eat together when you can. Your child can watch you eating and learn what to do. Melty crisps and sticks can be helpful practice when you introduce finger foods. This is because they melt with your child's saliva and are less likely to get stuck or gag on. Encouraging or putting some food to the side of your child's mouth when starting with lumps and finger foods helps them to move their tongue in a different way, a movement they need to know to learn to chew. Introducing an open cup with your child can help too. They'll be a bit messy and need your help, but it helps them to learn to stabilise their jaw. If your child gags in the mealtime, talk to them and reassure them and stop the mealtime if they are upset or being sick. Afterwards, think about what you noticed. Are they ready to wean yet? Were they saying that they'd finished? Was it a new flavour that they don't know just yet? Or was it a new texture that's harder to manage? Do they need to practice with a little less of this or need a bit more time before moving up a stage? It can be worrying to see your child gagging. Thinking about the steps above will help your child on their journey. If you feel that your child is gagging a lot, speak to your health visitor about next steps. For more information about helping your child's progression with solid foods, visit the NHS Start for Life website. You can also visit the eating and drinking section of our toolkit for more information, including advice sheets on weaning, moving from smooth to lumpy foods and gagging versus choking.